Hi everyone, this is Omar Murillo and I'm back today to share with you a video on common mistakes that I see sellers make all the time that ultimately cost them money. So let's get started. I don't know anybody who likes to overpay for an item, especially a home. So one of the most common things that I see all the time is that a seller will overprice their home. This is one of the worst things that you could do. We always strive to get top dollar for your property, but there are strategies to get you there. And overpricing a home will make your house collect days on market. It will grow stagnant and keep the potential buyer pool away from your house. So you definitely don't want to overprice your home. You want to either be at market value or maybe slightly under market value so that you can get a nice buzz going on the property. And depending on the current market that you're in would be the approach that you would take at that given time. Home inspections are very important to any potential buyer. A mistake that I often see is that the seller does not provide home inspections such as a termite, a roof, a general home inspection to a potential buyer. So what happens is you will receive an offer from a potential buyer but they'll make it contingent upon the fact that they have not seen the home's true condition. So they'll order these inspections once you're in contract and leverage the information that is on those reports to get you to give them a credit or to repair whatever items are found. Because they're gonna say, hey, we didn't know that the home was in this condition when we wrote the offer. So it's definitely important that as a seller, you provide these inspections up front. It's a definitely a big tip, and I think it's definitely gonna save you money in the long run. A common mistake that definitely equals a lower sales price is lack of preparation of a home. I'm talking about curb appeal. I'm talking about how the home feels when you walk inside of it. Is the lawn mowed? Is there garbage outside? Are the beds made? Are the, are the dishes out of the sink in the kitchen? Can you open up the blinds to make the house feel as bright as possible during the day when you know a potential buyer will show the home? Not doing all these basic things will definitely cost you money when it comes to getting offers. Having a good relationship with your realtor is very important, especially when communicating as a seller all your needs. One thing that I've seen that has always caused problems for sellers is not fully letting your agent know what your plans are to move out, where you're going to go, do you need rent back periods on your home? A rent back is time in your home after you are no longer the owner. I've had sellers that told me at the beginning of the transaction that they were ready to move out as quickly as the house sold, but then during the process, they decided, oh my gosh, wait, we may need an extra 30 days after we close, and they didn't tell me until the last week before they were set to move out. At that point, you really have no legal way to move, and you're asking the buyer to let you stay more time, and it may cost more money than it would have had you asked for this up front. So communication with your listing agent is very important, and you wanna make sure that you have a plan a whole, a whole blueprint of the transaction so that your listing agent can follow that plan and make sure that all your needs are met. And this leads me to my final point, but I think it's probably the most important one. This is your biggest investment as a seller. And I see this way too often that agents are hired to represent homes solely based on how much commission they are charging. Now obviously nobody likes to pay top dollar for anything like we've said earlier but at the same time there's also the thing called you get what you pay for. So you have to make sure that when you're hiring your agent you know what they are going to do for you. That they have some sort of experience in what they're doing. That, that it's not solely a fact that they're charging you a thousand dollars less than some other guy. Now it doesn't mean that the most expensive is always best. So it's kind of a difficult situation to really know which way to go, but that's why you have to take time to research the people that you're potentially going to list your home with so that they have all of these things that they're going to offer you for that commission that you are going to pay. I'm big on value. I want to always bring the best of my clients, showing them what I'm doing for them. And you should always look at the sale of your home from a point that 
this is the biggest deal that I am going to sell. This is the biggest uh, asset that I have. So you want to make it based on a plan of action that's going to net you more money and not solely off of saving a very small percentage of money versus somebody that could sell your home horribly. And a lot of times I look at homes that are sold and I say, man, that home should have sold for a whole lot more. But then I see who sold it and I'm like, ugh. Look at this picture, I mean, my gosh, didn't they do this, didn't they do that? They could have said this, they could have said that. But ultimately, I think that this is a huge, huge point. Look at commission, look at who you're hiring from a different perspective, look at what you're getting, look at the value, and I think that that's the best approach on hiring the right listing agent because that right there will definitely cost you money if you hire the wrong realtor. I know this video was a little bit longer than most of my videos, but I really wanted to be thorough and share with you anything that I could think of when it came to mistakes that I see sellers make. Uh, if you guys have any other videos you'd like to see in the future, please do leave a comment below and I'll do my very best to prepare that video. I really do appreciate uh, you watching these videos. I invite you to like and subscribe and to turn on the alarm so that anytime I release a new video, you'll be notified. All right, I'm excited to bring you guys more videos and I'm hopefully informing you and helping you in some way. All right, take care guys, we'll see you.